Hi everyone, Shirt Lad here, and uh, this is the gameplay video number four. As you can see, I'm getting fairly consistent with those now. Well, I'm going on the arcade. Well, I'm going on the arcade trip, I wanted to say before my noggin eventually cut me off. Anyways, I'm gonna take a ball and the Mephis with me. I'm taking the Mephis because, well, it's a low cost guy and I kinda like the flying gimmick. I don't like getting thrown around as a Mephis, that's another thing. I don't really like the damage of the pistols being quite bad, but then again, without those flaws, it would have been a far higher cost, right? Anyways, uh, the second one is Ball, which I've picked in the Zeon Green, because Green Ball, why not? It's kind of cooler than the regular garden variety of Ball, the, uh, the grey one. So, I took that one out, charged that one, and... Uh, then I try to charge the Rick Diaz. Going for another one. I kinda messed up on the flyby. Got stuck in the recover for... Ah, words. Uh, got stuck on the recovery frames and uh, got hit by the Rick Diaz. But I should be probably catching up to the thingy happening in terms of commentary. So I'm kind of, well, winning per se, but then again, the Mephis is kind of fragile, and uh, yeah, I got hit in the back and in the front because, because I didn't pay attention much, I mean, I didn't pay much attention, sorry for the bad grammar, I, sometimes, sometimes words fly out, but the the thoughts catch up afterwards, and then I'm stuck with the thing I'm stuck with now, for the lack of better words. Anyway, anyways, I'm gonna I'm probably going to start the round with a set of flybys because that's what I like to do with the transforming things. It's that I like to go around. Swooping at stuff like a bird of sorts, and now I'm gonna do the swoop, but with my hand. And now I'm gonna shoot that one, shot that one, well, landed both shots, and the melee. Now, this part is going to get slightly more interesting since it introduces two rig DSs. I mean. To Rick Diaz mobile suits, to be precise. So, yeah. I'm still a greenhorn in terms of. Uh, in terms of uh, comment uh, commentary, as you can see by my frequent blunders or missteps. Per se. Sorry, I. Yeah, I kind of have to get better at that. Anyways, round three. Can they spaceport? Let's go. I could use some. You know, some speeds. Okay, it wasn't a very good pun. But for real. Taking the ball for a spin would be a nice refresher from the Mephis. I took another swoop at the Nemo and there's this one. Got him with a grenade and uh, oh that was a double kill, nice. That doesn't happen very often. But when it does, damn, it's so satisfying. 
I flew over the melee sword, which is nice. Successful flyby on the Roberto's Rick Diaz. Tried to do the second swoop and uh, I didn't nail it, so yeah. But I'm trying to shoot at him. Well, I didn't have the recovery thing. And therefore I was... Well, I was shot. And I was shot down. As you can see. I got a kick in and a few slashes dead. And the round three. I suppose. And I was pretty close to the mark too. Which was going to be the crap out of me. Probably. I mean, judging from the range, um, like legitimately baffled by I didn't get hit by a beam or two, or it, or I probably did and I didn't notice. Anyways, I'm getting a bit sidetracked here, so let me get back to the thingy at hand, or you know, the round that's currently happening. So as you can see, I'm kind of having a bit of a problem with the with the 180 millimeter cannon on my back. Oh, on the top. And again, yeah, more or less on the top, I'd say. Anyways, uh, the problem with the cannon is that, well, in space, you kind of have to. You kind of have to correct stuff uh, sideways, and of course you also have to account for the time it takes uh, when it, well, it for the time uh, it takes as it lines up the shot. I apologize for for how slow and sometimes disjoint my sentences sound. It's well, I could say that it's from. A lack of practice in terms of commenting things as I go. Well, I'm gonna be out of the zero G now. And this is where the ball truly shines because in the zero gravity maps it's more or less just flying coffin. But this one I can put up a fight. So I think of it as a... Well, I'd say... Um, an incredibly slow... Zaku 2 with a Magellatop cannon that has... Well, that has garbage armor, but... Well, at least I got... One of them. And damaged the other one severely and well you probably know the cost of the ball it's, it's the lowest in the game so I don't lose much if I get too damaged which is pretty good but it still kind of messes with me whenever I you know whenever I get smacked around as a ball Well, I thought I, I thought I got him, but the sucker dodged it, and another one, and uh, the Gaplant just help up, just helped us win the round. Yeah. So. We're going to the Kilimanjaro. So, back to the map as we go. I kind of try with the commands, but I kind of fail. But then again, I'm not really good at using those. Anyways, as you can see, I, there's the melee while getting shot. Which is, oh, 
still not optimal, but then again, baby steps. And they landed some shots on the flyby. And we're off to a decent start. I'm probably gonna try a, a few flybys. I got shot again because I didn't really manage the boost gauge. So it ran out right at the point where he had a clear shot. Well, I should have. I should have ascended a bit sooner. Now you see me use the recovery burst. And I kicked him and then I smacked him again with something else. Which was the beam saber. Anyways. I'm just kind of, you know, taking pot shots with the pistol. Doing another kick and the Bjarland just saved the round by swiping at the Nemo. So that's, that's pretty decent. Look, 80% evasion rate. That's pretty cool, I'd say. I usually go at around 77 or something. Let's go on to the desert then. Two more shots at both. Now I got hit by one attack, but Marissa intercepted it, which was very nice. So thank you, computer, for kind of helping me out. Or, well, Marissa, or... Oh, it's a Marissa, but it's controlled by the computers. Yeah, I was not sure who to thank. I mean, both are mechanical. Yes. Then again, this is a tangent. Out of which I should snap out. Probably. I mean, no one wants me to rant about a thing that happened like I think a minute and a half ago. Anyways, then. I'm gonna engage in some close close combat. And I'm gonna goof up. I shot that guy. The Maris I got beaten up. And I did a swipe. Which I'm kinda proud of. Because if you could see the arriving one. I was thinking that he's gonna be a crap out. Anyways. The donut came to help. So that's nice. And you could see the mono, mono eye going from side to side. That's one of the things that I love about these games. It's that you get to see some uh, very very small details. Like the mono eyes moving. Which I kinda like because if you've ever seen the egg guys mono eye move it's it looks very goofy. But I like it. You know it's it's weird, it's goofy, but in the very, very adorable way. That's probably one of the reasons why, why the egg guy is, you know, well liked by the community. Or, you know, I haven't seen a person that's just straight up dislike the egg guy. But that's probably, that could play into that, let's say. Anyways, I'm gonna go with no one more shot to the gas. I see. I'd say. Oh, somehow I just opted for the the little hands. I missed the attack on the Mark Two. The Mark Two is going to be a pain to deal with, but hopefully the boy in the walks mound that just arrived. Is going to be a, a helping hand, I'd say. The gas is he's low on health, so I'm gonna take the shot. And I hit it somehow. And it's. It kind of astonishes me when I hit something at all in the zero G as a ball, because 
Look at the thing. Look at the lousy firing speed. Anyways, I'm gonna do the round winning kill with the cannon. That's it doesn't really happen to me that often. I mean as a ball. And I suppose this is going to be the stage nine. As you can see, I'm trying to pick them off from the distance. By which I mean taking pot shots until something hits. Because with the garbage firing speed and the speed of the ball and, and uh, well, various other things, I'd say, you could say that it's, well, it's not really something you should use. Like, I just got kicked by the gas, see? No, I kind of like that move. You know, the one where the legs turn into the mobile armor mold. And, uh, well, I kind of like to use that when I'm playing the gas. We're going against the uh, HML Zeta. I dodge the Grobi of the SOP Gundam, or the Super Gundam. I kinda like the acronym of SOP Gundam. Anyways, I was goofing around with the commands. And, well, another butt shot. Another butt shot. And I got hit by the Groby. Which is kinda weird, because I thought he would... I mean, I thought the Super Gundam would go after the other guy. Well, missed the second shot and I messed around with Camille. Like, are you going to fire it? No. Are you going to slash it? No. Why? <laughs> Big cannon go with bro. Anyways, that's, that was a nice attempt at getting the shot off, I have to say. In terms of the, that Groby, that's, I was on full health. So, <laughs> Oh! Tough luck, Super Gundam! On to the stage 10! I think this is going to be a tough one, because, well... As you can see, I... I did lose a, quite a lot of units when I'm playing as the ball. Because the armor is bad, the health is bad... But... The ball is kind of fun to use, I mean... It's it's fun because it's weird. You know, in the same way as uh, playing then in the old Street Fighter games. Because if I no, I got it wrong. Uh, playing the playing the professor guy in the Tekken games. No, the, because the then guy. He has some goofy moves, but I wouldn't say that it's to the point where, if you remember the all the Tekken games, which I kind of got to play when I was uh, at one venue, like that guy, that guy just you know fell down and you know just flailed about. It was pretty funny. Anyway, so. Uh, I apologize for jumping off topic. It's probably going to be a prevailing team. Well, the the ball is weird in the in a similar way, in a similar way, uh, on the merit of having a very cumbersome primary weapon, having a having a terrible melee. But, if you manage to get a kill, then you basically destroy enemies that are more than three times your cost, which, well, they often are. Like, imagine taking out the O with just the ball. That would be pretty badass. 
and I'll sp uh, skip the credits. So yeah, I'm gonna just cash in the points. And I suppose that's going to be all for the gameplay video number four. I'm gonna save the stuff and... Uh, oh, nice. I'm fourth on the Ace Pilots ranking, which is pretty impressive considering that I was just using a ball. Anyways, without further ado, well, I kinda did put the further ado there, but disregard that. Shirtlet, signing out. Have a great one.